Very happy to be here. Uh, very happy to have supported uh, Velocity in Berlin and uh, also very happy to support London. Love this community and love this group. Um, I'll start with how I'm going to end off. Web performance equals revenue. This audience knows that, but the greater world out there doesn't. And that's why we, we need everyone in this audience to preach, evangelize, educate on all that. The message today uh, that I want to uh, highlight was, is a little bit different, a different lens than, t than normal. I um, want to highlight the, uh, the web and the internet in the emerging markets. So, uh, ah, where's my clicker? There we go. Obligatory slides about the company, and then I'll get into the meat of it. Uh, we are a global CDN. Really, our focus is on, on cloud acceleration, um, really transforming the internet into a high-performing application delivery uh, network. So just like, like very uh, many other global CDNs, we can do simple caching and, and media streaming, of course. But really, our sweet spot is dynamic, transactional-based applications and emerging markets. So if you want to boil down our differentiators into one sentence, that's really what it comes down into. Uh, a bit about the company. Uh, yeah, we're, we have 100 pops around the globe, 25 uh, points of presence in China, 13 points of presence in Russia, all across the Middle East. So back to our... our our, our key differentiator, emerging markets, growth markets, that's where we're pushing. Uh, we get requests from customers all the time to push into the most remote areas ever. So we got a request last week to put a pop in Cuba. So we don't have a pop in Cuba yet, but we're working on, on it. We have 17,000 websites uh, and applications that are flowing over our network. We get trillions of, of, of DNS requests as well as web requests as well as non-web uh, client server-based app, uh, application requests uh, a month. And so some of the data that I'm going to be showing you is, is basically aggregated data for the first half of this year uh, across all of our customers. Sample of our customers across every industry, every vertical, every country. Uh, um, so US, UK, Germany, France, China, Japan, Korea. Uh, we were originally founded out of APAC, uh, but we're now a, a true multinational company with customers all over the place. OK. A little kind of state of the emerging internet. So everyone has seen, I've, I've snagged this from uh, Mary Meeker's uh, Kleiner Perkins deck, uh, which uh, she talked about a few months ago. Uh, the emerging markets are, are growing nonstop. So she highlights uh, the US as, uh, uh, as a baseline kind of. And, and basically, you'll see China, India, Russia, everywhere else in the world is, is, is where all the growth is happening. Okay, po And uh, po the population penetration hasn't even um, uh, exceeded 50% in most of these markets. So for our own perspective, CD Network's own perspective, 65% of our new business is helping cu customers and websites and applications go into the growth markets. Okay? We have seen a 450% increase in emerging market, market traffic. Okay? So again, media, streaming, regional traffic, th that's there. But in terms of, of uh, going cross uh, um, national, international, from the US or Europe into other markets, uh, we're seeing 450%, and that's for the first half of this year. Uh, unique IP. So instead of tracking unique IPs individually because there's fluctuations in this, we, we kind of track slash 24s within the company. Um, so the, for the BRIC nations, we continue to see 20 to 40% year over year growth. Okay? US, we see 2% year over year, and UK, 9%. So just as as metrics for you guys. So again, 20 to 40 percent unique end users logging into 17,000 of our customers' websites. Uh, bandwidth. So uh, again, measuring across all of our pops and all of our uh, requests, China and, and Russia, we actually are seeing uh, about four megs consistent in, in China. Uh, Russia, about three and a half. Um, and uh, bandwidth is increasing for, for end users, about 10 to 15 percent. Uh, Brazil and India remain flat in the first half, but there's still a lot more uh, growth there to go, with India only hitting only about 10% of the population. We expect that to, to increase. So again, consistent theme, massive opportunity, massive growth. Some interesting browser statistics that actually uh, surprised me at first. Uh, Brazil, 62% Chrome. Um, uh, let's see, China, because of the ongoing Google debates, I guess, uh, a little bit different in the makeup with IE and Safari. 
Um, and then the, a notable note, we saw a lot of opera in Russia. I actually don't know why, but uh, that was an interesting subnote for me. Um, mobile request. So, and not to pop the mobile uh, bubble, but the reality beyond the hype for across all of our customers, let's remove all the, the content giants. So sorry, Google, Netflix, Love Films, uh, Ren Ren, RudeTube. We've excluded you out of this because you skewed the data too much. Once, once we exclude those, um, quite honestly, it's still desktop only. Um, a lot of B2B and B2C applications are still desktop only uh, requests. Okay. Um, we've worked over the past uh, two years with, with a lot of companies, again, helping our customers to extend into these markets. We've, we've partnered with Forrester, Gartner, uh, Burston, uh, Marstadler, et cetera, to, to assist our cu uh, customers to go in. So a couple of learnings that I'd like to share with you guys on how to reach the emerging markets. Um, the green here notes, again, we're using US as a baseline. Green means that end users in these countries are more active in these particular type of activities. Red means less active. So you'll see uh, the, the keys here are Russia, Brazil, India. E-commerce and buying things online are still, is still not that there yet. However, researching, going to the website, scouring website, reading reviews, posting reviews, they're off the charts. Okay? Specifically in China, um, a lot of, and I'll go to the next slides, a lot of research and, and review tracking, commenting, um, uh, but uh, the e-commerce e hasn't caught up yet. Uh, one of the reasons in Russia, actually, is that they don't, the credit card system isn't working yet, uh, they don't trust the government, they don't trust uh, companies themselves, but again, that, that will come over uh, in time. Okay? So websites uh, are critical for, for brands and retailers to, to have a presence there. Um, snag this from Google, a, a study from uh, Google. Um, they did eye tracking tests on how people view, uh, an, American, uh, an American user views search results on a website and how a Chinese user views uh, search results on websites. Um, you can see that the American user, and this is actually quite indicative of what our findings as well, peruse and kind of skim, you know, a couple pages here and there, uh, Chinese users devour websites. Okay, they go through the entire tree, read, read every review, read every commentary. They look at all the results. Okay? It's, it's very different. And it actually, through, through our logs of, of, of different customers, of being able to see how, how long uh, end users stay on uh, websites, we've seen the exact same case. Emerging nations, uh, they, they spend a lot more time on websites than, than the average American user does. This is an example of um, UI, user experience on a Chinese website. So uh, unlike the clean, kind of sleek looks that we like in, in the US, the kind of the whole Apple-esque, you know, uh, minimal, minimal is better, uh, the Chinese users love more content, okay? So you just jam-pack things in there. So things that are very good and work well in, in the UK or, or uh, the US don't work so well over there. So you need to be, to be able to know that uh, uh, you need to redesign your websites and, and, and work with local UX designers to, to uh, customize it. I want to kind of end off with this slide. I do have a minute left. Good. Um, this is one of my favorite case studies. I offer as one of our customers. Uh, they're a startup in, in San Francisco, where I, where I, uh, San Jose, where I'm from. Um, they compete with eBay. So they are an online marketplace. Uh, their page load times from the BRIC nations uh, were about 11 seconds. And I know that's appalling for this group, but in Russia, China, India, it was taking 11 seconds for their, you know, you do a search, uh, categories come up, products come up. Um, they went live with our services and we got them down to two seconds. Again, not simple caching, but also the dynamic transactional elements of the application. They did nothing to the website. They didn't translate it. They didn't run a marketing campaign. They didn't do anything else. And all of a sudden, this bottom graph is a quantcast uh, a graph that they sent over to us. Their users in China and the rest of the world just started exploding. Right? And they were so happy to, to share this with us, and we were so happy to receive it. Um, web performance equals revenue, folks. This audience knows it. We must go out and, and preach, evangelize, and, edu and educate the market on this. Web performance equals revenue. 
All right, that's it for my keynote. Uh, later on in the day, Jerry Miller, VP of Technology, will be going uh, a lot more in depth into our uh, findings, into helping our customers get into China. So please attend that if you can. All right, thank you.